Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Dianish and you are watching Iraqi in our YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. The Iraqi dinar has been undergoing significant changes, particularly in terms of its inflation dynamics. Recent developments indicate a strategic shift in monetary policy, aiming to address inflation while enhancing the overall value of the currency. Key figures like Alec and Sadani have been strategically holding back lower denomination notes to stabilize the currency and prepare for a forthcoming rate adjustment. This approach aligns with broader economic reforms that suggest a forthcoming revaluation or redenomination of the Iraqi dinar dot the introduction of new. Lower denomination notes is part of a larger plan that includes the issuance of achievement bonds and national bonds, a financial instrument not seen since before the Iraq invasion of 2002-2003. These sovereign bonds are intended to attract both domestic and international investors, indicating a renewed confidence in Iraq's financial stability. According to my friend working in the finance ministry, this move is a strong signal of imminent changes in the currency rate, which suggests that the government is laying the groundwork for a significant financial overhaul dot these sovereign national chain achievement bonds are particularly noteworthy. They represent a commitment to financial reform and economic stability, suggesting that the Iraqi government is keen on regaining control over its currency and financial systems. My contact emphasized that this development is crucial as it signifies Iraq's attempt to operate more independently and demonstrate its commitment to managing economic challenges effectively thought the anticipated rate change will likely be accompanied by significant shifts in monetary policy. There is speculation that corruption may be addressed in a dramatic manner, possibly involving high-profile actions to restore confidence and create value. This aligns with recent statements from Iraqi officials, including Salah, who has discussed the float of the currency. Salah mentioned that the float could be adventurous but assured that the rate would be managed, indicating a planned and controlled approach to currency valuation. I, in addition to currency management, there has been a marked increase in financial infrastructure. The number of ATMs in Iraq has surged from 11,000 to over 55,000, with a notable expansion into gas stations. This increase is part of a broader modernization effort, supported by ongoing dialogue with the United States Treasury which has been heavily involved in Iraq's monetary reform. The Treasury's continuous engagement and presence in Iraq are underscored by their visibility in media coverage, emphasizing the success and progress of the reform efforts. The introduction of new currency does not signify the immediate obsolescence of older denominations. Instead, while new lower value notes are being introduced, the larger 30,000 dinar notes will continue to circulate and be used for up to a decade. This gradual transition reflects a careful balance between modernizing the currency and maintaining continuity in the financial system. It's crucial to note that while the new currency is being implemented, the older notes will still hold value and continue to be in circulation, ensuring a smooth transition for both businesses and the public. I in summary. The recent developments around the Iraqi dinar and the associated financial reforms reflect a complex but promising trajectory for Iraq's economy. The strategic holding of lower notes, issuance of bonds, and increased financial infrastructure all point toward a carefully managed and potentially transformative phase for the Iraqi currency. As Iraq navigates these changes, the involvement of the United States Treasury and the ongoing media focus on the reforms highlight the significant attention and expectations surrounding these financial maneuvers.